Hello, I am Dr. Bosworth, and we are trying this again. I have a patient who has been uh, diagnosed with diabetes. Her A1C is 8.2 with an average blood sugar of 190. And her doctor actually prescribed metformin and another medication. She did some research and said, I don't wanna take that metformin. I want this problem fixed permanently without using that medication. I have some insight as to whether or not that was such a good idea. This is a uh, example of a cell. This is a muscle cell. And this is the patient's bloodstream. In Mariah, and in anybody who is trying to use the fuel of glucose, there is a very important step that begins with the glucose coming in contact with this blue thing, which is a receptor. Think of it as a way to lift the glucose from the blood to the cell. In order for that to happen, Mr. Insulin needs to come along and give permission that it is the right thing to do, taking that blood sugar and putting it into the cell. That's how the cell got fuel. When you look at Mariah's case, uh, her blood sugar has uh, been coming along and and looking to get inside the cells in an excessive amount. The insulin has gone a little mad. In fact, her insulin is super high. She's very insulin resistant. And what does that mean? It means that these glucoses or this fuel can't get inside that muscle cell because insulin has been screaming at this receptor for so long that it's become resistant to listening to it. And that blood sugar is going to stay in the bloodstream for a really long time. Fixing this problem in someone with an advanced problem in diabetes, where that blood sugar is again averaging at 190. Her hemoglobin A1C is 8.2. This insulin has been doing this naughty little trick for a long period of time. And in fact, if we would look inside the cells of Mariah, you would see that the fuel inside those muscle cells are low. The cell is starving. It needs fuel. Her insulin is too high to produce ketones, so now it's got a double blocked entrance. She can't make ketones because of the way her chemistry is, and the glucose can't get in. So along comes metformin. And what does metformin do? Well, it performs a little magic trick. Uh, metformin locally affects how this receptor will now listen to insulin. You can think of it as a little micro pocket of making this receptor less insulin resistant. It now allows that insulin to communicate with that receptor and the glucose can flow in, into the cell. So as much as Mariah really had the best of intentions for taking care of her diabetes naturally, wanting to improve her diet, lower that blood sugar by changing the way she eats, I fully support that. She should do that. But in the meantime, she has cells, not only in her muscle, but in her brain and in her body that are starving for fuel. That causes a rapid deterioration and a rapid aging inside her system. So in the setting of whether or not I would recommend she takes that metformin, I say yes. Metformin cannot lower her blood sugar too much, like several other of the options out there for diabetes, and it fixes the little spot of insulin, resistant that we, of insulin resistance that we need to fix most, which is get that receptor to lift those glucoses, put them out of the bloodstream and into the cells and improve the nutrition, the fuel that's happening inside those blood cells. This is just a pocket education. I hope you like this. If you want to learn more about how to lower your A1C, check out the next video.